gives this man to marry this, or who gives this woman to marry this man? My wife and I. Please be seated. We are here to celebrate the wedding of Tayton and Thomas. You know, I really don't remember exactly how long Tayton has been in my life, but the time I've known her, I've seen her evolve from a very talkative teen into a very talkative adult, <laughs> as most of you already know. Now, when Tayton told me she met a guy, I was really happy for her and really scared at the same time. Happy because we all want her to be happy, and scared because I didn't want her to get hurt like she has in the past. But when I met Thomas, I saw the way he looked at her, and I realized that she finally met a guy that is perfect for her. He treats her the way she deserves to be treated, and would do anything possible to make her happy. Plus, if he can sit and listen to not only how much she talks, but how fast she talks, he is definitely the right guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's only one flaw I can find in Thomas. He's a Cowboys fan. But <laughs> well, we all can't be right, can we? With that being said, I'm truly honored they asked me to officiate their marriage today. So as we, as we begin our celebration, it is important to understand a little about their romance and what brought us here to this day. This love story began when a Mississippi boy met an Iowa girl in California. Both were serving in the military at Travis Air Force Base. While living close to each other in base housing for a couple of years, they didn't meet until both swiped right online. Tayton chose Buffalo Wild Wings for their first date. When she asked him, do you prefer boneless or traditional wings? He said, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> so she ordered wings and he ordered fries. After the first date, Tayton ghosted him for two weeks because she just thought he was too nice. But Thomas was persistent, texting her multiple times until he, she, she agreed to a second date. Now, as Thomas describes Tayton for his first impression, well, I knew she had a very cute dog because we talked about him all on our first day. And of course, I thought she was beautiful and definitely out of my league. So I was just glad she was interested in me at all. And I liked that she talks a lot. I don't. So she kind of kept the conversation going. With that beginning, they have come to this place, having shared many experiences since, including a six month separation due to deployment. Their love has endured that, and that has brought us here today. At this time, Christine, Tayton's foster mom, will read a poem for the bride and groom. By James Bertolini. May your love be firm, and may your dream of life together be a river between two shores. By day bathed in sunlight, and by night illuminated from within. May the heron carry news of you to the heavens, and the salmon bring the sea's blue grace. May your twin thoughts spiral upward like leafy vines, like fiddle strings in the wind, and be as noble as the Douglas fir. And finally, may you never find yourself back to back, back to back, without love pulling you around into each other's arms. The couple will now share their vows. They have chosen Irish vows representing the commitment they make here today. Thomas, repeat after me. May you never steal, lie, or cheat. May you never steal, lie, or cheat. But if you must, but if you must steal, then steal away my sorrows. But if you must steal, then steal away my sorrows. And if you must lie, lie with me all the nights of my life. And if you must lie, lie with me all the nights of my life. And if you must cheat. Then please, cheat death. then please cheat death, because I couldn't live a day without you. Because I, couldn't live a day without you. I shall be a shield for your back as you are for mine, nor shall a grievous word be spoken about us, for our marriage is sacred between us, for our marriage is sacred between us. and no stranger shall hear a grievance, and no stranger shall hear a grievance. above and beyond this. I will cherish and honor you through this life and into the next. I will cherish and honor you through this life and into the next. Take you repeat after me. May you never steal, lie, or cheat. May you never steal, lie, or cheat. But if you must steal. But if you must steal. 
then steal away my sorrows. Then steal away my sorrows. And if you must lie, and if you must lie, lie with me all the nights of my life. Lie with me all the nights of my life. And if you must cheat, and if you must cheat, then please cheat death. Then please cheat death. Because I couldn't live a day without you. I shall be a shield for your back as you are mine. I shall be a shield for your back as you are for mine. Nor shall a grievous word be spoken about us. Nor shall a grievous word be spoken about us. For our marriage is a sacred is sacred between us. For our marriage is sacred between us. And no stranger shall hear my grievance. And no stranger shall hear my grievance. Above and beyond this. Above and beyond this. I will cherish and honor you through this life and into the next. These rings were chosen by you to signify the unbroken circle of life and love. Please repeat after me, placing them on each other's ring fingers. Thomas, place your ring on Titan's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my commitment. I give you this ring as a symbol of my commitment. And to remind you of this day. And to remind you of this day. When we pledged in front of our closest community. When we pledged in front of our closest community. That our love can transcend all obstacles. That our love can transcend all obstacles. That our love unites. That our love unites. Inspires. Inspires. And celebrates. And celebrates. And we'll do so for the rest of our lives. And we'll do so for the rest of our lives. Satan, place your ring on Thomas's finger and repeat after me. I gift you this ring as a symbol of my commitment. I gift you this ring as a symbol of my commitment. And to remind you of this day. And to remind you of this day. When we pledged in front of our closest community. When we pledged in front of our closest community. That our love can transcend all obstacles. That our love can transcend all obstacles. And love unites. And love unites. Inspires. Inspires. And celebrates. And celebrates. And will do so for the rest of our lives. And At this time, the bride's father, Jason Gibson, will share a Bible reading as the couple braid the cord of three strands. Verse 4, 9 through 12. This verse represents the strength of a couple when they rely on each other and on the help of God. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. By the power vested in me in the state of Nebraska, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Please stand. It is my honor to introduce you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Cole Roberts. <laughs> 